explosion of story time and paper plate crafts with Miss Barbara from the Huntington Beach Library. As you can see, I am sheltering at home and staying safe. So we have easy to make paper plate crafts. Today we are going to be making, as you can tell, frogs. You just need one paper plate, a pair of scissors, string or yarn, a paper clip or a penny, and some scotch tape. And we'll be making our little paper plate frog. He's also a game where you can catch his little bug. But before we get started with how to make our paper plate craft, I thought I'd read some stories and sing a song to get us in the froggy mood. So my very first story is called Monday, the Bullfrog. And this book is by Matthew Van Fleet. Monday, the Bullfrog. Monday, the bullfrog is always hungry. Sunday, he ate something purple. What could that be? What could he eat that was purple? He ate, oh my goodness, what did he eat? A butterfly. Monday, he ate something that was furry and white. What could that be? A mouse. Tuesday was crunchy and red. What could that be? What did he eat on Tuesday? He ate a crab. Wednesday was glowing in green in the night. What could that be? What glows green in the night? Why, it was a firefly. Thursday was bumpy and yellow. What could that be? A caterpillar. Friday was shiny and blue. What did he eat on Friday? Friday, he ate a fish. Saturday, he wanted something sweet. So Monday, the bullfrog decided to eat you. Oh, because you're nice and sweet. Silly, silly frog. Boy, he eats a lot, doesn't he? So we've got a lot of stories about hungry frogs because we're going to be making a frog that catches a butterfly. Now I have another frog that likes to eat. This is I know an old froggy. I know an old froggy who swallowed a fly. A fly that was buzzing around and just passing by. Why she swallowed the fly? Oh, me oh my. I know an old froggy who swallowed a spider. It wiggled and jiggled and tickled and spider. She swallowed the spider, she swallowed the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, me oh my. I know an old froggy who swallowed a ladybug. A cute little bug you just wanted to hug. <gasps> she swallowed the bug. She swallowed the spider. She swallowed the fly. Look at all these bugs. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, me oh my. There was an old froggy who swallowed a bee. Bzzz. How could that be? She swallowed the bee. She swallowed the bee. She swallowed the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, me, oh, my. There was an old froggy who swallowed a butterfly. A pretty little butterfly that was just glittering by. Whoop. She swallowed the butterfly. She swallowed the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, me, oh, my. There was an old froggy who swallowed a... I thought it was a mistake to swallow the mistake. You show she's swallowing the snake. She swallowed the snake. She swallowed the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh me oh my. There was an old froggy who swallowed a mosquito. Oh my gosh, look how big that is. How did she do it? I'll never know. She swallowed the mosquito. She swallowed the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh, me, oh, my. Froggy, I said. Look at that. 
You've just got to stop. Eat any more bugs, I think you will pop. She looked at me and she said with a shrug, moo moo, it's hard to speak when your mouth is full. I'm just trying to catch the reading bug. Catch the reading bug? Wrong, I said. Just take a look. You don't need to swallow bugs. Just read a book. And look, this book already has a bookworm in it. So all you need to do to catch the reading bug is to get hold of a good book. And we have lots of digital downloads on our library's website that you can read. And right now we have an online reading program, Stay Home and Read. You can sign up online at hbpl.beanstack.com, register, listening to this story time, doing some of the paper plate crafts counts. You can earn points, and those points can earn you virtual raffle tickets to win some fun prizes. So remember to stay home and read, sign up for the library reading program. Now, since we're making a wide mouth frog with a paper plate, I thought I'd read a book called The Wide Mouth Frog. And this book is by Keith Faulkner, The Wide Mouth Frog. Here he is. You can see he's got a big wide mouth. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog, shooting out his long, sticky tongue. And you can see he's got a big mouth. And he hopped along and met a blue feather bird. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, bird? And the bird said, I eat wiggly worms and slugs. And he snapped out his pointy beak. Hmm, said the wide mouth frog. Next, the wide mouth frog met a furry brown mouse. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, mouse? I eat crunchy seeds, juicy berries, replied the mouse, and he wiggled his whiskers. You can see there he is, wiggling his whiskers. Hmm, said the wide mouth frog. I'm a wide mouth frog hopping along when he saw an alligator. Hey, I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, alligator? And the alligator said, hmm, what do I eat? I eat the most delicious things I can find. I love to eat wide mouth frogs. And he showed his great big giant teeth. And look at those teeth. Those are pretty big. The wide mouth frog stopped catching flies and he gulped and he made his mouth as tiny as he could. Can you make your mouth as tiny as you can? He said, oh, you don't see too many of those right there, do you? And then he hopped away as fast as he could back into the pond. And there went the wide mouth frog with a great big splash. And that is the story of the wide mouth frog. Now we've been reading some stories for a while, so we probably should get some of our wiggles out before we make our craft. We're gonna do a pretend jump. You don't have to do the jump. Raise our arms up, raise our arms down, raise our arms up, raise our arms down. Now we're gonna do a little faster. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Get those wiggles out, up, down, up, down. Now stop. All right, now I have a little song that is kind of fun to do. It's called Little Green Frog. And get your hands ready, it's gonna go like this. Glung, glung, went the little green frog one day. Glung, glung, went the little green frog. Glung, glung, went the little green frog one day. And his eyes went bung, bung, bung. All right, should we do that again? Glung, glung, went the little green frog one day. Glung, glung, went the little green frog. Glung, glung, went the little green frog one day. And his eyes went bung, bung, bung. All right, now you can do this song with lots of other animals too. You can do like, meow, meow, went the little white cat one day. Meow, meow, went the little white cat. Meow, meow, went the little white cat one day. And there's claws went scratch, scratch, scratch. Should we do a dog? All right. Ruff, ruff, went the little black dog one day. Ruff, ruff, went the little black dog. 
ruff, ruff, went the little black dog one day, and his tail went wag, wag, wag. So you can put in all sorts of animals and make your song any way you want to. But we're going to end up with the frog one more time. Glung, glung, went the little green frog one day. Glung, glung, went the little green frog. Glung, glung, went the little green frog one day. And his eyes went bong, bong, bong. Good job. So we're going to be making paper plate frogs today. So you need your paper plate. And our little frogs are going to look like this. Now, it's like a little game. So take your little frog once you make them. We're going to try to catch the bug. Now, if you have a paper plate, uh, if you have a paper clip or a pencil, I use a pencil because it doesn't take as much time. It makes it a little easier. Now, you can do it without that, but it's harder to catch the bug. So we're going to see if we can catch our bug, and then I'll show you how to make this. One, two, three. Oh, I missed it, but you keep trying until you get the, get the frog to catch the little coin, catch the bug. So we're going to get our one paper plate. You just need one paper plate for this craft and our scissors. And we are going to cut out the middle because that's going to be our frog's body so we're cutting out the middle of the plate making our frog's body this doesn't have to be perfect because it's a frog on my paper plate all right so i've cut out my frog body now i always color my things first so you want to color one side green or it could be a rainbow frog it doesn't really matter and then the other side, it colored red because it's the inside of his mouth. And then we fold it. So we now have our frog's body. Now we are going to make the frog's eyes and legs and tongue with the rest of the paper plate. We're going to fold the paper plate like this. And I like to fold it because it makes it easier to cut. And that's why I get the cheap economy plate. They may not be great for food, but they're great for crafts because they're much easier to cut than the fancy paper plates. You can get these uh, big lots, uh, the grocery store, CVS, Amazon, Walmart, uh, the inexpensive economy pack of plates. You get like 100 plates, you get a lot. So this one side of the paper plate is going to become the froggy's legs. So we have our frog body. And it's easier to do this if you color it first. Here's the frog legs. You're going to tape it. You can glue it. I, I, I glued and taped. I did both. If you have a stapler, you can staple that right there. Let me show you how to staple it if you want. I didn't. I, I scotch taped it. And I folded one leg back like this. Fold. Fold the other leg back like this. Fold. Then I folded out the feet like this. Fold. And I folded out the other foot like this. Fold. All right, so I've now made my little froggy feet. Now I got a little fancy. You don't have to do this, but I want it to look more like little froggy feet, so I cut little triangles in here to give them toes. But you don't have to. See, now he has a little toe. So you can see with my finished product, I gave him toes. So he has little toes now. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. All right, so with the other remaining parts of the plate, I gave him eyes, fold it in half, cut, fold it in half, cut. It's, it's easier to cut on the fold, that's why I do that. Now for his eyes, uh, you don't have to do this, but I did. I wanted to round them out so they looked more like frog eyes. And you can see here's the little edge of the paper plate. Here's the, here's the edge of the paper plate right here. That's what we're going to glue. That's what we're going to fold this back. So let me just, I'm going to round it. By rounding it, I mean I cut it so it looks a little bit round. And I shape it. So here's a froggy eye. You can make it narrower than that if you want. And I fold it back. See where it's folded back there? That's the part I'm going to glue and tape onto my frog body. So like that. So now he has a big froggy eye. So you can see here, I, I, you know, I, I colored it. Here's my sample. Here we go. The big froggy eyes. And with the remainder part of the paper plate, I used to make my frog tongue. He has a big tongue sticking out. And so once again, to make it look more like a tongue, I cut into a triangle like this. And now I have my 
tongue. And of course, I colored it red. So it looked like, oh. So here is my froggy. He actually does stand up on his little legs. And he has this big beak. And he has two legs. And he chews and he picks up like a frog. Now, if you didn't want his tongue to be quite that long, you can make two little legs in the front if you wanted to. I chose not to. Now, there, I did have a little bit left on my paper plate. And with a little bit left, I made a little butterfly. I took two little bits of the plate and I glued them to, I, I glued and scotch taped them together so we'd have a little bug to catch. The, it's about an inch long of string or yarn. I use yarn. And then to weight it, I used a penny or you could use a paper clip. And then that way, you can now have a frog that you can go back and forth and see if you can catch his bug. Now, as I said, that was hard. I'm cheating. I'm just going to put it in there. But it's really hard if you don't have it weighted. So I recommend weighting it. Otherwise, you'll really have a challenge trying to get your frog to catch the bug. And you can't really see, but he does stand up. You can use him as a little puppet if you want to. If you don't want to pick him in case you don't have to, you can just have a little puppet frog. You don't have to do the tongue. As I said, you can make him a, a purple frog. You can make him a blue frog. He doesn't have to be green. Use your imagination. Make your frog any way you'd like. So that's today's paper plate craft. Join me next time when we make another fun paper plate project. I'm going to have you get your clapping hands out. And here we go as we sing our goodbye song. Now it's time for us to go. It's time for us to say goodbye. But it won't be long, my friends, until we meet again. So long, farewell, goodbye. Well, thank you for joining to our, our story time. And remember to check us out at hbpl.org. Until next time.